Hello, this is Mantra from Video Gamers, and this is our video walkthrough of the Quilog fight. Um, so, as a cinematic play, so I'll go through a couple of the important factors in this fight. And the most major one, of course, which is positioning, because her little spider, lower, okay, very big spider body thing, uh, shoots lava. So, the most important thing about this fight is making certain to not stand in the lava, because it does do a constant damage, even after it's been sprayed all over the place, and to continue to maneuver her around the room while simultaneously uh, making certain not to get hit by her strikes that almost always go out to a certain range from her body. Um, that is very important because the lava will harm you almost certainly when you're at a very close distance and then at the same time if you're at a range you can get hit by her uh, melee strikes and a couple of other attacks she has like a leaping attack so what you want to do in this fight is to get close watch out for the lava breath and then try and run up between the legs especially the front legs um, and you know avoid the lava. I'm trying to do that here but obviously she was pushing me into it there. Um, so most of her attacks are fairly straightforward and can be avoided just by rolling at, at the proper moment and the lava itself is not too dangerous except when you want to actually harm Quilog. So you just want to keep running in and around and beneath and in between the legs and most if not all of her attacks will never really hit you there. What you see here is now she's getting charged up for a special sort of explosion attack that can be very dangerous. And there's another attack that you want to watch out for where she slams the legs down like that. Both of those attacks can and will hit you when you're at her side. Um, the explosion attack is probably her most damaging attack in the uh, boss's entire arsenal, so you definitely don't want to get hit by that. The shield we're using for this fight is a shield known as the Dragon Crest Shield, I believe, and it blocks 85% of fire damage when you uh, actually have the shield been blocking when the attack comes. So as you can see, that's incredibly useful in this fight, as otherwise that attack would do an immense amount of damage to most other shields. And if you don't block it, you could easily get one shot by it. Um, so the most important thing about this fight is that if you position yourself properly and you get between the legs like that, the only attacks you really have to worry about are the uh, the one where she stomps the legs down and the explosion attack. The explosion attack, of course, being far more important than the, uh, the leg stomp one, because the leg stomp one doesn't do really that much damage. It can be blocked easily. And you can also just roll out of it. It's very obvious when it's going to happen. So you want to watch for her lowering her body as she gets prepared for the explosion attack. You'll want to study that in motion and then to get prepared for it. And uh, basically, at all phases of the fight, rush forward, get underneath the legs area, that kind of thing, uh, so you won't get hit by her melee attacks. Make sure to watch out for when she starts breathing lava, because you don't want to get caught in that, especially because of how big the spider's model is, so she can actually trap you against the wall, for example, in the lava. And then um, that's not really a very threatening attack, as you can see, because the load-up is so huge. I mean, you can see it coming from a mile away. So, basically, watch out for the explosion, and... Uh, if you can do that, and if you know, especially if you have the Dragon Crest Shield, you can pretty much block and tank most of her attacks, and um, it's not really that hard to fight then. This is her weak spot, hang out there, beat her to death. Uh, I would not recommend trying to two-hand most of the time though, because you never know when one of the uh, attacks you need to block is going to be coming up. So it's, if you really want to be saved, just keep your shield up at all times, and you know, use the one-handed strikes until you got her down. If you're a magic user or ranged, then this fight is incredibly simple. You basically just have to keep backing around and keeping to our backside while shooting spells at her. Um, I do believe we have a playthrough of that recorded, and uh, if not, we can get one recorded. So, you know, just for magic user types who want to see how to beat this. Also, a spell that uh, is very useful in this uh, situation is the Iron Flesh spell, because it allows you to pretty much just tank her without even the need to dodge the uh, explosion spell. So, um, just keep that in mind in case you're a pyromancer, because you should be able to get that by this point. And uh, that's about it. That's Queen Long Dead. Good luck.